Right, welcome back everybody. As promised in my last video, um, when I came down to Sandbanks on Halloween and had a suspiciously spooky evening, um, I've come bassing. So I've come to the same spot, which is mildly original, not. Uh, and all I brought with me today is mackerel and those earths with the big circle hook rigs. That is it. I have bought no ray rigs, which for me is really hard. Um, I'm, you know, I have the patience of a six-year-old on Christmas Eve, so tonight's going to be tough for me. Two rods out, big baits, sit on my hands and wait. Might be a really dull video, actually, if nothing happens, but, you know, just bear with it. If I don't catch anything, it'll be really short. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Catch you guys later. No, I'm joking. Um, I've got... Well, no, don't, that's it, really. There's nothing else to say, actually. So I've got both rods out already. Um, I've got a whole head and got some mackerel on that rod. A whole head and got some mackerel on that rod. I plopped this one about 20-ish yards, just on the end of the stone groin here. Um, and I've plopped this one just into no man's land in the middle here. Um, I have no other plan. There's no plan B. There's no worms, there's no sandals, there's no squid, there's no scratching rig, there's no ray rig, there's nothing. Um, so that's, that's it. It's bass or bust. Now, exactly as I started my last video, with a little confession that I had come down previously, um, and on that particular incident we had thunder and lightning and horrendous weather and I went home, so that's a good excuse not to have uh, done a video. I actually did this video again last Friday, um, so after the Halloween, came down here last Friday, um, and I actually caught fish. I caught the cameras, I caught the cameras with me, and I actually caught fish. I had, a, I had a, a nice chunky bass, not the biggest thing in the world, it weighed three pound three, quite happy with that. Um, and another one, another big conger, not the same conger, I had two eyes this one, um, at nine pound five, and I weighed it. And um, when I went to check the footage back, guess what? Yep. Idiot here had forgot to turn the microphones on again. So, you know, I had a nice, long, silent movie. Um, Buster Keaton does bassing, I should have called it, really. Um, so that was a disaster. So um, when I realised that had happened, I packed up reasonably early and went home, sulking. So a couple of things I need to address before I uh, forget. Um, two things that came out of the video, the Halloween video. Um, firstly, it is now November, so the parking is only £3.60, £3.60, £3.40. So what is wrong with my brain? It's not very much now for like a whole day, so no more this £15 to park for three minutes at Sandbanks. Uh, £3.60 does the whole session. It's good news. Um, the other thing was I got asked a couple of times about how I attach my circle hooks. Um, and I use something called the Perfection Loop. To attach my circle hook. Um, I sometimes also use a Palomar, uh, not a Palomar knot at all, a uh, Rapala knot. Um, but I will do, actually we could do this, we could do amazing technology, we'll cut to the shop and I will show you how to tie a perfection loop and then we'll come back. Right ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my hands. This is my handy demonstration. Ah. Um, I'm going to tie a perfection loop and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Tie it quickly, then I'm going to tie it slowly and explain it, and then I'm going to tie it with a hook in. So it's three little demonstrations. Um, let's tie it quickly. So I form a loop, I form another loop, I pass that over there, and I pull that through there. There you go, that is a perfection loop. That is how easy it is to tie. Now let's slow that down a bit, shall we? Right, slow mo time then. So. Grab your bit of line with both hands. I have the end of my line in my right hand. If I simply move my hands together, I'll form a loop. Now an important part here is to remember, my right hand is gonna be behind, so further away, than my left hand, okay? That is important. So form the loop, like so. Pinch it with your left hand, finger and thumb. Keep still a little bit of tag to work with. And I'm going to form another loop, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this tag and pass it behind this bit of line. So this bit of line that's in here. So I'm going to go behind that bit of line, like so. So I've just created another loop. So, so far I have two loops. I'm going to do those 
pass that tag in between these two loops, okay? So in between like that, and I'm gonna grab hold of it with my thumb and finger back here, or my two fingers back there, sorry. And then what I'm gonna do, the first loop we tied, I'm gonna go from behind, go through that loop, grab hold of the second loop, and pull it through. Let go of the tag, give it a good pull down, and that's it. That is a perfection loop. Very simple and incredibly strong and reliable loop. Okay, right, so we've got ourselves a hook. Let's start off exactly as we did before. I'm going to form the first loop, like so. Now at this stage, we want to add our hook onto our tag, okay? Like so. Now we form the second loop by going through there and pulling that tag around. So we have our two loops. Now I'm going to pass that tag in between the two loops. This time when you come through and grab your loop, don't forget to grab your hook as well. Like so, and pull that through. Give that a good tighten down and a trim off. And there is our perfection loop with a hook in it. Look at that, seamless. You guys probably didn't even notice the change of venue, did you? Uh, but there was no point in me trying to demonstrate a not out in the dark, or so, let's be honest. So there we go. So some dodgy cutting in and editing, but that's a perfection loop. Um, what is the point of doing that? So the point of doing that is you want as much free movement um, with a circle hook as possible. So as the, as the hook is in the mouth, and then as it comes out, you want it to be able to turn as much as possible. Um, tying it, especially starting to reasonably thick line, I'm using 050 tonight, um, it's it got the potential of keeping that hook straighter, um, so it can sort of pull out the, pull out the mouth. That's the idea anyway. Um, I just think it sounds a bit smart and posh, doesn't it, using a perfection loop. Come on, fish, 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 fish. It's not a huge amount going on. I like, wish I bought a pack of sandals and a ray rig now, or a, a flapper and some worms. No, stick to the plan. Stick to the plan, Thomas. Running towards me. Yes. Yes, there we go. Slack line me massively. Come on, mate. There we go. Look at that. Proper bar of silver. Absolute beauty. Chuffed to bits for that. Patience pays off. There's the circle hook. Right in the corner of the mouth. Ooh. Anybody who thinks a 6-0 circle hook is a, a big hook? It's like a needle in a haystack in there. <laughs> what a beaut! I'm going to weigh that, I think. That's quite a heavy fish. Right. What have we got? Five pounds seven. If you can see that on the screen. That's a beautiful bass. Very, very happy with that. I like eating bass, I really do. Um, I tend to keep anything around the sort of two, three, maybe four pound mark. So this little beauty's got lucky today, and she's going back. Wow, that 
that was super, super exciting. I was uh, sat in my bivvy. It's been oh, a couple of hours, to be honest, of sat on my hands going, mm, I don't know if this big fishing's for me. Um, and I was watching the Chelsea Spurs game, which was the most bonkers game of football in the world. Um, and I just look up and the rod's gone, like that. Um, and then by the time I've got to the rod and switched the camera on, it's completely slacked behind me. And I've reeled and reeled and reeled and reeled and reeled, thinking, oh, I actually at one stage thought I'd been snapped up and lost it. Um, but it just swam straight towards me. By the time I caught up with it, I think I reeled it about two yards that was on the beach. <laughs> so that was pretty crazy, but lovely, lovely fish. Really pleased with that. Five pound something that I've forgotten already, so I'm excited then. Um, not a monster. You know, I still want that big bass, and that will come. But it does go to show how easy bass fishing can be sometimes if you just happen to be in the right place. It really is a case of a lead with a length of line, with a big hook on, with a mackerel head, and flop it out into the sea. Um, I put that one really close to the stone groin, just where there's sort of like the deeper um, sort of trough is around the end of the groin there. Um, and bear in mind we're on low water now, so it, it can't be any more than 10, 15 yards out. Um, so really, really simple stuff. Anybody can do this. It's really exciting. Right, it's half past 10. Not a lot has happened since that bass. Um, so, short and sweet video tonight. Pretty simple stuff. I'd like you guys to all try this at some point. It's just a case of a lead, an earth, four foot of line, dirty grip, circle hook, mackerel head, flop it into the sea, put it on the rest, set your drag, don't forget that bit. Sit back and relax. It's the only benefit of a nice relaxing session interspersed with chaotic moments of catching awesome fish. Why wouldn't you want to do that? Anyway, I hope you're all well. Thank you for watching as always. I really, really do appreciate it. I love all the positive comments I get. Um, that all makes it worthwhile to be honest. Um, I hope you guys are getting out there and catching some fish. Um, and I will see you guys on the next one. Ciao for now.